This is another recipe in the Gorilla Cooking series. We are going back to World War I, back to the German Army. And we are going to do a recipe from a recipe book to German troops from 1915. This is on pickle soup. Now, when I did some looking into this, pickle soup is actually a Polish recipe. For those of you that do not know history, Poland did not exist at the time of World War I. A large chunk of it was actually part of Imperial Germany and had been for a long time. So you would have had ethnic Poles who were serving in the German army during World War I. And I got a feeling that's the source for this recipe. Now, according to the recipe book, the only ingredients were one small pickle or half of a large pickle, two tablespoons of fat, and they're typically talking bacon fat, four tablespoons of flour, one to two tablespoons of vinegar and salt. So super basic. It said for the amount of water, use one liter to one and a half liters of water. So that's going to create a large amount of soup that's not going to have a lot of taste. I tried this last night and decided modify it, go more towards the Polish recipe. Now in the Polish recipe, common things that they also have in there, potatoes, onion, and carrot. And I would recommend add some type of meat like ham or a beef stick, some pork, something to give it a little more uh, texture, a little more to it when you make it. So first off here, because I am using dehydrated potatoes, I'm going to get those going while I am prepping my other ingredients. So I'm going to pour my potatoes, and I got eh, about a cup's worth here. I'm going to add just enough so that I can boil the potatoes, and I'm going to save the rest of my water. Now, while that's going, I'm going to want to prep some of my veggies by frying them, which will cut down on cook time. So I'm going to go through, slice up half a small onion here, because half a small onion is kind of the common I see in most World War I recipes. And then I'm going to add one small carrot or half of a larger carrot. Remember, cut off the ends. If you need to peel it because it's just that dirty, even after washing it, go through, peel it before you cut it. Remember, your veggies should be no more than half an inch thick to decrease the cooking time. I'm going to be adding uh, extra water and stuff to this one to make enough for Combat Cameraman also to try it out. Now I'm going to want a little bit of fat and I'm using bacon fat.
Now I just got to wait for everything to start its cooking process here a bit. Now I am not going to be using vinegar in this recipe for in the seasoning. I'm actually going to just use the pickled juice. Uh, I did come across that in a lot of the Polish recipes where they say to use pickle juice instead of vinegar. So I'm just going to go that route. Try to get that fat down far enough to start melting. Now, while that is uh, doing its thing, I'm going to prep my half of a large pickle here. And I would recommend when you're doing this for yourself, if you're doing it in a canteen cup, half of a large pickle, if you're doing it in a mess kit like this, I would really recommend go with a full pickle. Now you want to cut the pickle up for when it gets boiled in the soup. So just cut some uh, slices first and then take your slices, cut them into chunks. Now you're probably going to say, well where am I going to get pickles in the field, security guy? You ever notice the pickles in a pouch that you see at convenience stores? And you'll see it some farm fleet stores also. That'll work. Now, if people are wondering what size of pickle are we talking about in this recipe, remember, we're talking early 20th century, so we're talking the era of the pickle barrel. And the size of pickles he got then would be extra large pickles nowadays, the size that you would get inside the pickle in a pouch stuff. I did this last night and it wasn't bad but I did have to increase some of the amounts of stuff in the recipe like the uh, amount that you're supposed to add of vinegar or in my case I'm going to be adding pickle juice. I found I needed a lot more than what was called for in the recipe. I don't know how they would have had a decent taste in this recipe going off of the numbers they cited in there. Now what I'm doing with the veggies, I'm basically going until the onions start to clarify. And then I'm going to add them in with my potatoes to continue cooking over there to try to soften them up. Because I still have to make a roux to thicken up this soup. Now Polish pickle soup, and no I'm not going to attempt the uh, pronunciation of the name in Polish because there's just too many uh, vowels in there. Traditional Polish pickle soup is a cream type soup and you see in there that people call for adding sour cream or milk. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to follow what they had in the World War I recipe where they said to make a roux 
using fat and white flour. I will post both versions of the recipe in the description. I will post what was actually in the German recipe book from World War I, and I will post the version that I'm doing. So you can try either one. I think we're looking okay on that, so I'm going to add my veggies into my potatoes. Even if you are using uh, fresh potatoes, you're going to want to uh, boil them to soften them before you actually get in, you know, hardcore into making the soup. So I'm going to let that boil, move my pickles over, and I'm going to start prepping for making my roux. Roux is R-O-U-X, and for that I need two tablespoons of fat. Remember a USGI field spoon is approximately one tablespoon in size. So now I have to melt the fat before I can continue on that part. And the potatoes are softening up good. According to the recipes I've come across on this for doing roux, they say melt all of the fat before starting to add flour. And when you add flour, you add a little at a time. Okay, so now I'm going to slowly add in my flour and you stir it into the fat. Now some of the stuff I've seen on making roux, they said if it starts to bubble up like this, don't worry, just keep stirring. And just keep adding your flour. We're adding four tablespoons of flour to two tablespoons of fat. Traditional recipes for roux call for a one for one. So one tablespoon of fat, one tablespoon of flour. But the World War I recipe book said a two for one. Two tablespoons of flour for every one tablespoon of fat. Now the roux is going to be our thickener to create essentially our pickle stew here. Like I said, the traditional Polish recipes say to add sour cream or milk.
this looks good enough. Okay, so now move that over to heat. I'm going to turn it down just a little. I'm going to add my roux into the soup. Now, according to the recipe book, it said when the soup gets up to a boil, add the pickles. And we're definitely going to have to add more water. Now, remember, as we're boiling all this to get it done, we want it to be watery because it will boil down. So I have one pint's worth of water inside there for now. So now I'm going to let it get back up to a boil. See if I can get any more of the roux out. Now as I said, I recommend putting in some type of meat a hot dog, some uh, beef stick, some beef jerky, some ham, whatever is available. I'm going to use some Vienna sausages. So first off I'm going to pour in the juice. Now, if you're using pickle in a pouch, obviously, you're still going to have the pouch sitting off on the side with your pickle juice, just waiting for getting added. Now, you got to add this fairly quickly because... It will thicken very quick, like we've seen with uh, different stews or the uh, cream chip beef. Once it starts to uh, thicken, it thickens fast. So I got to get this in there. The actual Polish recipe for the soup is essentially a vegetarian soup. Okay, now we're going to want to add our pickle juice. How much? That's going to be up to you. The World War I recipe said one to two tablespoons. I pretty much doubled that when I was making it yesterday. so. I'm just going to eyeball it. Now I'm also going to want to add salt and pepper to taste. As you see I got basically a, what looks like two servings worth here because I'm going to be sharing with Combat Cameraman.
figure between half a teaspoon to one teaspoon of pepper and I'd say at least one teaspoon of salt when I did this yesterday. It's actually looking pretty close to what I've seen in the videos on Polish pickle soup other than I'm adding meat into mine. So I'm going to let that boil a little bit more before I uh, plate it up so to speak for me and combat cameraman. Stir it every so often to see how thick it's getting. Right now we're heating up the meat we added in there and also the pickles along with uh, getting all the flavors to kind of mix together. Now if you are using jerky or beef sticks or some type of dried meat, I would say boil that before you actually add the stuff into the soup like what I did with the potatoes you know if you're using some dehydrated potatoes or dried potatoes boil those and then toss that meat in there with it if it's a little bit fresher quote unquote like it's a uh, ham or something like that or a softer beef stick I'd cut that up and add it at about the time that I did the Vienna sausages Now remember salt and pepper is to taste so after you try it if you want a little add a little bit more go ahead if you got it available unless you're really rationing out what you have on hand. Now I know someone's probably asking well what about if I use uh, hardtack or crackers instead of flour when I make the roux. I would say pound it up really good as fine as you can get it when you're mixing the stuff together or before you uh, add it into your fats. And for the type of fat I would recommend for taste wise I would say add bacon fat. Now in the traditional Polish recipes I looked at they said instead of adding water add vegetable stock so one thing you could do if you want to spice up the t you know taste a little bit better maybe toss in a bouillon cube or two of whatever flavor you want I think we're probably there And going off of the look on uh, Combat Cameraman's face, he just can't wait to try this one. I know he can wait because he considers this an abomination to pickles. He already told me that before we uh, started filming. If you're doing this in a canteen cup, just adjust your stuff accordingly. Adjust the amount of uh, roux that you make and the amount of uh, 
water or a stock that you add to it. So here we go, we have our uh, pickle soup. Pass this off to combat cameraman. And while he tries his, I'm going to try some of mine here. Not bad, I think it could use a little more salt for mine. And combat cameraman, what do you think? Thumbs up, thumbs down, or halfway? This is the first one he says halfway. It's kind of okay, which kind of tells me he would eat it if it's what's available, but it's not exactly something he'd make for himself. So there you go. Pickle soup, a World War I recipe from the German army, modified along the lines of traditional Polish pickle soup. Now, for all my engineer brothers in the Patriot and Militia movements, always remember, that's